It's off. It is a house. Burn it. Ooh, what a day. Oh, come on. You got to give it your there all. There you go. There you go. Live from New York. God, dog it. It's, it's the show. One. Don't be a tough one for you, though. That had their chair <laughs> tipped over this morning. Not saying by who. It wasn't I walked you. in Wild's office and I kicked his chair over. Come on. <laughs> wow. Come on. But you're acting it's so silly. It's, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous defense that they're mounting the most ridiculous defense I've ever heard. Go ahead, take a rat. Go ahead, do your thing. Well, no. So listen, uh, there are three people mm-hmm. that you, the audience, and you guys are very familiar with that never blame the officials. Yes. That last week, after there was an egregious non-call DPI, did you hear Andy Reid complain? No. No. Did you hear Patrick Mahomes? Complain? No, he was great. No. Did you hear Nick Wright complain? No. no and I didn't. don't blame the officials, and I will not in this spot blame the officials. What I will do is provide the audience with information they may or may not have and let everyone draw their own conclusions. Sure, let's hear it. These, these, I'm just going to give some facts, okay. not opinions. Andy Reid has coached in the NFL 25,172 offensive plays. Mm-hmm. That was the first time. Offensive offsides had been called. So when Andy says you usually get a warning and you send out your pithy tweet about, you know, needing to be an oracle, maybe (laughs) what Andy (laughs) Reid, one of the greatest coaches of all time, was referring to is it is quite often a guy is lined up offsides and the referee tells me, hey, what? Tell him. To, that he's offsides. Give him a heads up. And it seems like a lot of people have, that have played the game said that does happen. That's first point. Sure. Second point is, do we think Kadarius Tony was the first, second, third, fourth offensive player this year to line up offsides? Assuredly not. Mm-mm. And that is a play that over the last two seasons prior to this one has been called three times total. Now, after the game... The referee for NBC came on and was like, well, it's a point of emphasis this year. It's been called 11 times. That, my friends, is what is true but wildly misleading because eight of those 11 are on failed push-push plays where an offensive lineman either jumps or is out in front of it. Prior to last night, that had been called on wide receivers twice all year. And the warning component to me does add a layer in the same way as this. We all see delay of games that are not called because it is kind of an agreed upon practice that even when the clock hits zero, you then get a beat. Mm -hmm. If that is the way everyone is operating, and then all of a sudden with a minute left in a game, a referee throws a flag the moment it, you could do the same screenshot and say, hey, it was a delay of game. I understand Reed Mahomes' frustration. And I will make this final point. This is an opinion. Everything else there was just the data. Yeah. I do, and Brew is going to lose his mind on this, but that's fine. I do not think the officials, particularly this year, have been good enough to be allowed to make a call like that. That's a great take. I I think that that (laughs) the officiating has been so egregious on such massive spots, including in this game, when Patrick Mahomes has an obvious forward pass. And they're like, eh, we'll just let him call it a fumble. Well, and we'll but they, 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 they played, they, out, they played the right out way. They played right. out, and, yeah. and no one got hurt, luckily, yeah, yeah. and that they had a good camera angle, luckily, sure. that the officials acting oh. like oh. we are painting such a weekly masterpiece that we now can in, draw around the edges let me ask is you nonsense. This. It is not oh. why they lost. I do not blame the refs. I do think it sounds it was, like it. No, I think it is not why they lost. I think it's an abomination of a call. Okay, Both let me ask true. you this. Yeah. If the Chiefs do get to the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and Kadarius Toney catches the game-winning pass, yeah. are you going to come on this set and say, you know what? He wasn't good enough all year. All those drops, all those games, Detroit that last night that he blew for us. He lost those two games for you guys. Okay. He doesn't deserve to make that catch because no. he wasn't good enough. No, so don't no, tell no, me no. the rest. Okay. So they've been bad all year. They're supposed to just keep being bad? No, they try to do their best. Now, look, I, I agree with you at the start. I will give Patrick Mahomes credit because he is consistent. You are right. True. Last week he had every right to come out there and say, what the heck are the refs doing? We work hard. 
Yep. We bust our butts to get out here and win a game, and they take it from him. He had all the right to do that. Didn't do it. So I don't think Mahomes is coming at from a place of sore loser. I think he's coming from a place of fundamentally disagreeing with the referee's determining the outcomes well, and, of games. And so of I'll give him that. Throwing a flag on something that he's never seen happen. Now, that look, that, that's the problem. Tony was darn near in the Bills secondary. I mean, that was ridiculous. Nick, he was so far he was o- four offside. Inches past where no, he was four inches allowed to Look at the film. Yeah. Look at that. He's four inches He is a yard in front of every other That's- receiver and every other lineman except the center. Yeah. He, I mean, he is way offside, and you it, it's a rule. I, if it, it, it is a I rule, agree. and it was clearly – he was clearly broke the rule, so it, they should have called it. Now, here's my big take. Go. The anger and frustration that Patrick Mahomes showed yesterday, he needs to show that to his wide receivers this week. Ooh. All right, we have sat here and heard Coach Mangini tell us how Tom Brady behind the scenes would jump all over his receivers. He demanded excellence, and if you weren't giving it to him, he, you were going to hear it from him. I love the way Mahomes handles the press conferences. Mm-hmm. I don't want him calling them out in the press conference, even if it's egregious Maybe mistakes. Maybe you, not, just leave it. Just take the blame. But in practice, in the wide receiver room, go in the room and jump on Can these I cats. Because these dudes are terrible. And How I do say, we know he's not doing that? Well, you're right. Maybe he is, but it ain't working. Because I feel like what they've lost from Eric Bien, we know Bien me wasn't calling the plays. But you've he heard enough. He was the bad cop. He was bad cop. That's correct. Andy Reid's a good cop. Mahomes but, looks like a good cop. Maybe you're right. Maybe he is jumping down people's throats. But I don't think so. Mm-hmm. All right? And they need somebody to jump on it. And I'm yeah. telling you, and I said it in the meeting, and I wasn't playing. If they had some good receivers, I would cut Kadarius Tony right now. If I were the Chiefs, I would send them. I won't do it because I need him. I ain't got nobody. But if I did have some good receivers, I'd on, cut him to send a message. Like, look, this is ridiculous. You've cost us two games. And what you didn't see on the tape is when the ball was thrown to Kelsey and Tony is wide open. He, he visibly is frustrated, like slam, throws his arms, and he's mad about not getting the catch. And then, of course, but Kelsey But he does it make a great play. Makes a great play. He makes a – like, he I – You had a little bit of advantage. He's got talent. He's closer to that. Okay. He's well, got okay. talent. Not, go but, ahead. But, no, I, I would go. cut him and send a message. Not, not now because they need Just to put him, a button on it. Yeah. yeah, come on. I wrote, Chiefs are a defense lawyer with an obviously guilty client. Like, if you're defending a guy who, like, robbed a bakery, and you know he's guilty, he knows he's guilty, the jury knows he's guilty, you can do everything except say, he didn't rob the bakery. Nope. Like, you can say, uh, you know what, we usually get a warning, there has, this hasn't been called in 25,000 snaps, it was a cool play, we didn't <laughs> complain about it last week, you can do all this stuff, it's not about reasonable doubt. You're trying to just, like, bake it in. Like, is there a chance he didn't rob the bakery? Like, no, but you know, that's – can maybe? I – Maybe. I don't know. Maybe your, those cookies oh, just why, Just real quick before we move on. Go. Your analogy is half right. They are a defense attorney – for someone who was pulled over for going 36 and a 35. Mm, that's no, what they are. No. And, and they are bringing to court not bad, saying, no, no, you have oh, not that given not that bad. ticket on this street in 25,000 drivers. You know what? And so we think, you know what? In a week right after, where you unjustly accused one of our guys of robbing a bakery, which is the non-called DPI, and now a different one of our guys gets pulled over for going 36 but and 35, Nick, we're a little irritated you with admit, the current law enforcement I culture. Will, will you admit, and I like Mahomes consistently, consistency, they look weak. Oh, they look weak doing this. I well, well let's. I, like I think them. we'll get to I it. Kinda, they look time. Weak. I don't agree with that. Okay. I saw Tom on. Brady chase a ref into a tunnel on he, Monday he Night Football. He could look weak too. Yeah. Probably say, but thank they you for having weak. a good game. No, that's Appreciate not what it was. was Meanwhile, scary. Chiefs offense held under 20 points for the sixth time this season, in a very un-Mahomesian fashion. In Mahomes' first 81 games, he was only held under 20 points six times. In the last 12 games. He's been under 20 points six times. Chiefs are 8-5. Mahomes has fallen out of the MVP race. Is it officially panic time in Kansas City? And you said so, last week you I panicked. said that thank Minor. you, Wilds, for stealing the opening line to my well, you answer said it last there. week. I, right. I was going to remind the audience of that. I was reminding that. them. That last week I said that if they lost to the Bills, 
it would be minor panic. And then you guys started to argue with me about if such a thing exists. I, yeah, I, I argue think it's that it panic is, or no panic. Yeah, I, I disagree. Right. I don't think life is quite so binary, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm here to tell you something. So despite the fact that I am Mr. Consistency, sometimes that crown weighs too heavy. Sure. And not only am I not panicked, I actually, all things considered, and I think you guys do as well, feel pretty damn good about where we're at. Now, there is some real, yeah, I don't know some, there are some good. real casualties of this. The Arrowhead Invitational is Cancel. in flux. Oh, I thought it is. Well, it's, it's not off, officially it's off for a year. Yeah. It's, well, it's not, not officially, officially. It's not officially off yeah. for a year. But if we know anything about the Baltimore Ravens, they like the to get the one seed and the... you know lose their first playoff okay. game. In which case, okay. it's open. Sure. And and uh, you know, but Baltimore winning in overtime and Kansas City losing is a killer. So you need for them to be the one seed. They need Miami and Baltimore to both lose twice if Kansas City wins out. And if they're not the one seed, they need one of those other teams to lose. So, right. and even if they could have the Arrowhead Invitational as the two or the three, they can't have the bye as the two or the three. I would three. cancel the case. So that that's <laughs> damn record. But the reason I said I feel just not only just fine on certain things better is because both of you, two people who, as much as it pains me, opinion I respect. Mm-hmm. Before the game, asked to see something. And we saw it for, for both of you guys. Bruce said, for the first time in the Chiefs era, they can get the ball down with two minutes left. And I don't think they're going to pull it off. And you said, where's the cool stuff? Yeah, where's where's the-, the fun stuff? And while you guys can argue, if you'd like, fun. that's fine, fine. that no, was, the Tony penalty was correctly fair. called. I don't think either one of you guys actually believe the reason the play happened was because of where he was lined up. That had he been lined up correctly, they have the comeback, they have the cool moment, right. yeah, and a game where all of the fair. pregame data suggested the Bills. The Bills were healthier. Chiefs without their left tackle and their running back. The Bills were more rested. The Bills were more desperate. The Chiefs were down 14 nothing to start that football game. Yep. All of that, and despite all of that, they were half a foot from checking everybody's boxes. That would have been nice. So the, I understand. So there is real damage brew done by the fact that they didn't actually get the win. But as far as my belief in that team in this year's AFC – I feel better than a lot of ways that game could have gone. Well, that's a great qu- point you make about this year's AFC. Yeah. Because, look, I said last week, you said you'd be in minor panic. I said, no, I wouldn't panic. Because I'm not panicking as long as I feel like they can get to the Super Bowl right. and even win the Super Bowl. All right? And let's look at this AFC. Yep. I, my pick is Baltimore. Yep. And I still and stand by that. They're obviously this, playing good. well. Right. But do I think the Chiefs can play with them? Sure. Of course. And can they play with Miami? They already beat sure. Them. Right. They beat Miami. Can they play with Jacksonville? They, they beat them. them. Like there's and they can play and and then the NFC, we've seen how closely they've played teams out there. Correct. All right, Philadelphia and all that. So yes. they can still do what they want to do. There's no question about it. what they go from. They go from and this has been the case. Well, Brady has been there. Yeah. But for the most part with Mahomes. They have been the favorites, right? And right they have, now, they, either them right, or Tom Brady right now have been not. the favorites. And now they go That's from correct. being a favorite to just a contender. That's it. The, they are. Bruce, you looking at us like we're Bruce, crazy? That is measured. No, they, they go from. They are from a. Take. You it's nobody is. Right, let's hear nobody is counting the, the Chiefs out. As wise. bad as their receivers are, well, nobody is. Wilds, counting them out. you panicked. I don't like to play the "I told you so" game, but sometimes I have to. Okay. Last week, I said, you know what, Hubs, Hubs, the producer of the show, I said, grab uh, what Collinsworth said about the illegal shift during the Packers game. Because to me, it was a huge, blaring red alarm. Not used to seeing this out of Andy Reid's squad. Ball snapped too early, people moving at the same time. It's unprofessional Mm. on offense. And a huge alarm went off in my head, and that's why I put it on the show. And I said, guys, you're right. Mahomes is still great. Andy Reid is still great. The enemy's not Defense there. Defense is greater than Defense their is great. Kelsey is great. But there's, sub, there's a lack of so you focus to the team that we ha- that now came back and reared its head. Collinsworth saw it last no, week on so that. You the and now it's... the whole NFL world's like, wow, this team's unfocused. Wanna, uh, Bruce, it's not just the me... drops. There's an element of, of fuzziness right. to the you're team. You're right. Uh, hold on. That's right. But I think you're going to So ask. you think the offense is broken? 
Yes. By okay. it's statistically, it's yes. I, I said something. they haven't scored. I got to do something. Everybody knows we have the first things yeah. first bylaws. Everyone knows that. Everybody knows that. What I don't even know if Brew knows because we don't fill him in on everything. Is we sure also don't. have the first things first official proclamations and a book. We have a quill pen. Everybody we have a lot of that. things that go along with it. And ink pen. Oh wow! So I saw He's Wilds' tweet. Wilds. And I have written it out. And Kevin Wilds, I'd like you to sign this. What please. do I have to sign? You, the Chiefs' offense is officially broken and will not be fixed. This is your own. You, you know what I mean? So, it's, so he and it's can't dated gloat exactly. if they win the Super Chiefs Bowl. offense That's is officially broken strong, and will Wilds. not be fixed. Yes. I don't agree that the, it will not be fixed. The, oh, wait, hold on. The whole wait, point, the so whole point are is they still, the whole point are they done or not? And Brew, Brew, you're loving this right now. I'm going to get you on the record with some of these proclamations. Broken and, oh, and I, I stay with the record. I'm going to write neat. I haven't used it. <laughs> it <laughs> needs to be while. fixed. Okay. Sincerely, Kevin Wilds, a.k.a. the mayor of fair. <laughs> All right. There it is. What, what, so it needs to be fixed. But this is what I'm wondering. If, and I, I don't think it's going to happen, but if the Chiefs win, mm-hmm. ink everywhere. is Wilds oh. going to be able to come up here and we, we, no. we. Of course not. I'm the mayor of fair. You guys, I That's hold the pom-poms for okay. no okay. one. Okay. That's why I got bro. him in the book. They haven't. They can't score there points. You go. I, They're look, an unfocused bro, team. Wow. You remember I, two years ago when they were nasty? They're yeah, not. They, yeah. They're a mediocre I offensive agree. team. I, I, as a player, yeah, person we, that's picked against the Chiefs this year, I don't fear them. Yeah. And I'm sure everybody, all the okay. contenders around the NFL, feel that way. Okay. But I am. There's no way I'm writing them off. Yeah. That's, In a year we like move this. On. We're going to be talking about this all day. Let's Take see. some of those humanity points and use them on clock management points, and maybe you'd be in better shape. Like, listen, I, the, I, I, I appreciate the fact that the Bills – are not officially eliminated. Mm-hmm. They moved all the way from going into the game. They were in 11th place in the AFC, which is a really rough spot. And now this afternoon, they are in 11th place in the AFC. And so I, this had all – and one of the, the things Patrick didn't say, but I felt, Patrick was like, man, this robbed us of a highlight from Travis Kelsey's Hall of Fame <laughs> I speech. like that. And I was thinking, yeah, Ridiculous, but, but it also robbed us of another epic Bills collapse because they were – 14 nothing, and then Josh yeah. threw his pick. Mm-hmm. And I know Tony Romo just couldn't get over how perfectly Josh Allen was playing <laughs> despite uh, the fact that maybe he thought the game was on radio, not TV, and we were just going to have to take his word for it. But after that pick, it was, and we can show you the numbers, it was far from a perfect performance, and it is the pick that let the Chiefs back into the game. And you had, so you had the egregious clock management at the end yeah. when they th- threw three straight passes outside yeah, of the right. two-minute warning. Crazy. When the Chiefs would have rather Let given up a go. touchdown right. than give up a first down. Yeah. And another McDermott defensive potentially blunder at the end of the game on the Kelsey play, yeah. which even if Kelsey doesn't do the lateral, the Chiefs are going to have the ball inside the 20 right. down yep. three. And so, no, my faith is not restored in them, but... It was a tough week in Buffalo, so I do think they should be able to celebrate something. And, I mean, congrats to them. Drop the banner, guys. <laughs> they just won their th- Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> that's their third Super Bowl in a row. I By Super Bowl, I mean the oh. regular season game at Arrowhead. Bro, that's three they years in a row. Well in they Arrowhead. have won in, in the regular, regular season. season. Yeah. They have won their Super Bowl three years in a row. So props to the Buffalo Bills. But, no, my faith is it's not like their restored. in-season tournament. Kind yeah, of. it really is. It is like their own <laughs> little trophy. in-season yeah. tournament. You know what Nick just admitted? What? That they walk in there. Oh, they yeah. open up the yeah, fridge. Yeah, they do. They the barely season. open up the fridge. They, they do. They get to eat, though. Yeah. They get to eat and watch TV. They have like TV. a granola bar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and again, I, they're too inconsistent to believe in them now, to have faith restored. I said it last week. They are the ultimate I'll believe it when I see it, team. I mean, first of all, they got Dallas next week. So we'll mm-hmm. see. I mean, could they beat them? Sure. But obviously, that's a game they could lose. Mm-hmm. They, but they, they can Dallas, lose any game. They beat them. Right. They've lost to the Jets, they lost to Zach the Wilson, Patriots. and the Patriots. All right. They the could Patriots. lose to the – they got – people will look at after Dallas, they'll say, oh, they got the Chargers, and Justin Herbert may be out. Mm-hmm. They got New done. England, and they got Miami. Now, Miami, that they could win obviously, out. But they could win out. But they could lose out. I mean, this team is so inconsistent. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, now, I will say this. If they get to the playoffs, I, I wouldn't say my faith will be restored in that I'm thinking, okay, they, they, they're, gonna, they're the favorites or anything like that. But they'll be dangerous. 
Because we know how much talent they have. We dangerous have in any given game is very different than dangerous to where they could they to to win, to win the Super Bowl. You don't think they, it'd be possible for them to win the AFC? No, because I don't think they can play great three weeks in a row against real teams. I don't. I mean, that's you know fair, what I mean. But and, I, they, so, I and they would I, be on the road for three weeks in a row, having just played great. They would really be playing great for like seven weeks in a row. It's hard of what it would take to, to get there. I just don't believe it. I I do believe that they are a team that can beat anyone on any given week and it is Lose are them. incapable of stringing together a month of great football against good competition I that. Uh, professor Broussard gives the cowboys their grade next on fs1 in the fox oh, sports he, channel Sirius xm uh, they what showed he, up they is his notes. super bowl champ going to be a tomato they showed up all with... of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out Clips from other shows on FS1.